in this video we are going to discuss a problem related to spectral density you can observe the problem here a filter has input x of t is equivalent to e power minus t u of t and the impulse response h of t is equivalent to e power minus 2 t u of t find esd that means energy spectral density of output why they are saying that spectral density of uh, as energy spectral density means so whatever the signals they given that is of energy signal I always uh, told you that e power minus a t u of t type of signals are energy signals with energy 1 by 2 a as they given energy signals they are asking what is the energy spectral density of the signal. So generally we are having spectral properties in spectral properties also I given you to calculate output spectral density we, we are having equation like this transfer function whole square into input spectral density if the signals are energy signal then whatever output spectral density is there that is called as output ESD and here this is considered as input ESD so now how we can calculate ESD of a signal so always spectral density ESD ESD spectral density of a signal is equivalent to spectrum whole square modulus of spectrum whole square that means if you are having that means spectrum whole square this is the formula to calculate spectral density so here if you are asking input spectral density input spectral density then what is the input signal so this is input signal so modulus of spectrum of x of t spectrum of x of t means x of omega whole square will be input spectral density and how you will get h of omega by taking transform of impulse function you will get h of omega first of all we will calculate h of omega and x of omega we will substitute in this so now here i know e for e power minus a t u of t the Fourier transform is 1 by a plus j omega by applying these formulas here I want to calculate x of omega x of omega is equivalent to transform of x of t that means transform of e power minus t u of t as e power minus t u of t is in the form of e power minus a t u of t the transform will be like this 1 by 1 plus j omega but we do not want x of omega we just want modulus of x of omega so if you consider modulus of x of omega then that will become modulus of 1 plus j omega then that is equivalent to modulus of 1 plus a plus jb is equivalent to root of a square plus b square like that we can write 1 square plus omega square 1 square is 1 and uh, plus omega square we need to write so if you want modulus of x of omega whole square then you need to square that one so I, I just want modulus of x of omega up to now so now if you want to calculate h of omega h of omega is Fourier transform of h of t so you know that h of t is also in the form of e power minus a t u of t if you consider Fourier transform of h of t then here you are getting 2 plus j omega this is your h of omega now here also you require h of omega modulus of h of omega that means modulus of 2 plus j omega i am not applying modulus to numerator why because numerator is a real number modulus of 1 is equivalent to 1 so here this is equivalent to 1 by root of 4 plus omega square a square plus b square means 4 plus omega square if you want modulus of h of omega whole square then you are having this as 4 plus omega square just this root will go out this is modulus of h of omega whole square so now i am going to substitute everything in this equation output energy spectral density is equivalent to transfer function whole square so always Fourier transform of impulse function is nothing but transfer function that transfer function whole square is equivalent to 1 by 4 plus omega square into input spectral density input spectral density means modulus of h of omega whole square so modulus of x of omega whole square that means if you want modulus of x of omega whole square then how will do 1 by root of 1 plus omega square whole square that means 1 by 1 plus omega square is your input spectral density 
I am substituting this 1 by 1 plus omega square. So, this is equivalent to 1 by 4 plus omega square into 1 by 1 uh, into 1 by 1 plus omega square will be your energy spectral density of the output if the signal and impulse response are like this. So, a filter having input like this and impulse response like this the energy spectral density of output is equivalent to 1 by 4 plus omega square into 1 by uh, 1 plus omega square or you can write denominator by multiplying combinedly. So, this like uh, this using the relation between output ESD and input ESD as these are energy signals I am using energy spectral density you can apply for power signals also for power signals output PSD power spectral density is equivalent to transfer function square into input power spectral density. Same approach you will use but in place of ESD we will mention like PSD that means power spectral density for power signals. So, this is for energy signals energy spectral density calculation.